So, Don, you love censorship, is what you're saying? No, I don't love censorship. Then why, why are you asking? I believe censorship? in moderation, but I, I don't believe in censorship. Is a, it's a, moderation is a propaganda word for censorship. We have already discussed much of Don Lemon's interview with Elon Musk. We interviewed Don Lemon on the Monday show about the interview with Elon Musk. But I want to focus in on just one element of that interview. This was an hour plus interview. There have been so many discussions and analyses done. And I want to focus in on one particular part that relates to content moderation. There was this moment that, you know, the thing about this Don Lemon, Elon Musk interview is people are coming down on both sides of every question. You can look online and you will find commentators, pundits, pundits, as some like to say it, never understood that one. And uh, analysts who say Elon Musk really got the best of Don Lemon when it came to DEI or Don Lemon really exposed how little Elon Musk knows on the topic of DEI. Whatever. I want to focus in on the content moderation part, and I'm going to play a part for you where Elon Musk justifies anti-Semitic images, memes and, and tweets or excretions as we now it's now called X. We used to call them tweets on Twitter. Now they are excretions on X. Uh, Elon Musk justifies them by saying, listen, they're not illegal. So if we remove them, we are stifling speech. This is not the simple explanation that some are, are arguing it is. There are people thrilled with Elon Musk's rebuttal. I don't think it's super strong. I'll tell you why in a moment, but let's listen to this part of the interview. Well, that's not was what the study shows. And you said you like transparency. I'm going to show you this. And, and Don, you can get a study that will tell you whatever you want. But this, the this, this is these are just a handful of extremely. You look at those anti-Semitic and racist tropes and tweets. And, and if you're listening, uh, Don is showing Elon some anti-Semitic uh, memes and they have them up on the screen as well. As of this morning, they're still on X. And from your own content policy, these posts should have been deleted. So why haven't they been deleted? Why are they still there? Did you? Uh, we delete things if they are illegal. But these have been up there for a while. Are they illegal? Uh, no, they're not illegal, but they're hateful and they can, they can lead to violence. As I just read to you, the shooters, you know, in all of these mass shootings, attributed social media to radicalizing. So, so Don, you love censorship is what you're saying? No, I don't love censorship. Then why, why are you asking? I believe in moderation, but I, I don't believe in censorship. Is a, it's a, moderation is a propaganda word for censorship. <laughs> but don't you think free speech is one thing, right? Or not, you know, Look, if something's illegal, we're going to take it down. If it's not illegal, then we're putting our thumb on the scale and we're being censors. You're putting your thumb on the scale for moderating hate speech. I mean, you don't put out child pornor pornography. That's not it's illegal. That some people would say that's considered censorship. I'm just saying you. So listen, there are lots of people who think, wow, what intellectual fortitude from Elon Musk just dominating Don Lemon and showing him that he is a hypocrite wannabe censor stifler of free speech. The problem with this, if it's not illegal, we leave it up stuff and content moderation is suppression of free speech. The problem with that argument is that Twitter takes down a ton of content that's not illegal. Bots aren't illegal. Spam isn't illegal. Uh, harassment isn't illegal, but it violates the terms of service of Twitter and Twitter often will take it down, but it's not illegal. So. I think there's a second layer to this. You can take the position of free speech absolutism. You can absolutely take that position. And there are platforms which, at least when they launch, claim that that's what they would do. We are free speech platforms. If it's not illegal, we leave it up. It could be disgusting. I could disagree with it. But if it doesn't break the law, then it will stay up. You can take that position. The problem is that officially speaking, X doesn't take that position. They have terms of service that don't say if it's not illegal, we leave it up. They take down all sorts of stuff. Part of the problem, of course, is the selective enforcement and the selective enforcement that leaves up these unhinged anti-Semitic things. So, you know, my, my final takeaway on this is it would be a stronger argument to take the if it's not a, because what is illegal at the end of the day? Not that much content is illegal. I mean, every, everybody always goes to child porn. 
doxing is doxing even illegal. I don't even know that doxing is illegal necessarily. A lot of this has to do with jurisdiction and, and different things. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I'm not a legal expert, but the point is they take down content that's not illegal all the time. And so we have here an explanation from Elon Musk that doesn't even match what the platform is doing. So my takeaway at the end of the day on the interview is for all of the criticisms of Don Lemon that came in. Don could have done a fawning cheerleading interview of Musk in order to keep the gig, keep the lucrative cash. Maybe it included a cyber truck. Maybe it didn't. Don was, was was coy when I asked him about it on Monday. And Don Lemon didn't do that. He did a real interview by 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 standards. He's lost money in distribution for it. OK, on some of these things, Elon Musk sort of had a retort on a lot of them. He didn't. And the problem is that a lot of people watching this interview think that some of these answers from Elon Musk are really ironclad, super strong. Is it illegal? If it's not illegal, you're just advocating for censorship. Well, not really. Your terms of service by that definition are censorship and you're applying them only selectively. And you certainly don't have a policy of if it's not illegal, we leave it up. So you have to sometimes be able to think one uh, layer beyond what's being said to analyze whether these are explanations that make sense. This explanation from Elon Musk made no sense. And on the facts, Don is right. It has become a cesspool of this sort of stuff. You know, I, I barely tweet anymore. The every once in a while I'll post something and I go back and I look at the replies and they are overwhelmingly just anti-Semitic replies to me as an individual trolling nonsense that it's become an, a borderline worthless platform. And at one point it was quite a worthwhile platform for us as a show. It's sad to see it. One of our sponsors today is Tycos, which provides an awesome free weekly five minute video series about the economy called the Weekly Comment. And it's hosted by Richard Vague. I've always found Richard Vague to be a premier economic expert. He's the former secretary of banking and securities for Pennsylvania. And every week, Richard is covering economic topics that keep you up to date really looking at the key economic issues of our time, U.S. debt, income inequality, forecasts for the American economy, economic challenges that are facing Europe and China, innovative policy ideas. Richard is the author of economic bestsellers, including A Brief History of Doom, The Case for a Debt Jubilee, and his newest book, The Paradox of Debt, which is a really interesting look at how government deficit spending in the U.S. during the pandemic era mostly benefited the top 10 percent. The six trillion dollars in government deficit spending in the U.S. in the nearly three main pandemic years increased household wealth by thirty one trillion dollars. That's the paradox of debt, according to Richard Vague. And in his weekly video series from Tycos called The Weekly Comment, Richard is excellent at taking really complicated economic issues and making them accessible to anyone. Go sign up for free at join.tycosgroup.org. The link is down below.